and do anything I wanna do. Do anything I wanna do. Do anything I I can do anything. All right, welcome back to Let's Help You Grow Now because I'm here to help you grow now. Today, I am going to do a video about how I was able to accumulate over a million streams on my new project. Tell see Baby to Beat, send me a beat, my dog. I struggle with two deluxe that only been out for a day now. It dropped on July the 3rd. You feel me? You can see that. What does that say? July the 3rd, 2024. I got over a million streams and we're going to get to it. I'm going to let you know how I was able to to get over a million streams, all right? Just just for you guys to see. Y'all know I'm not capping, you feel me? Got over a million streams and it was only out a day, okay? Yes, it's possible for you to do it too, all right? Now, let's get into it. This is how you guys mess up. Number one, number one. Y'all look at this number right here, your monthly listeners. Now, by all means, the most monthly listeners I ever had was like 10,000, about 10 to 20,000. That's the most monthly listeners I ever had. Now, mind you, first let's do, matter of fact, it's not even going to come for me. We're going to do Google. What? What does Spotify, because I'm going to take you out of, out of school. What does Spotify monthly listeners mean? We're just going to get it from Google. Your monthly listeners are your total listeners in the last 28 days, including people who stream your music from active and program sources. Your active audience is subject to of your monthly listeners, representing the listeners who act, act, actively stream your music in the last 28 days so that's number one now mind you of course this is going to go up because i just dropped a new project y'all know how things work it has to take time to update through the system etc cetera, etc cetera. but i really got over a million streams all right and you can just see just from going down this list that i'm not capping that's number two Number three, you could be like, because I know y'all wanted to say, some of you guys might, might say, oh, you use bots and that and this and that. Just bring up every excuse, which is not true. Because if you go on YouTube and you search, I got a million streams on Spotify. How much Spotify paid me for 21 million streams? All right. How to get 1 million Spotify streams. How do you get 1 million streams? 1 million streams on Spotify. How much is 1 million streams? How to get 1 million. Let's see, my first paycheck for a million streams. Okay. How many streams do you need to make $5,000? Celebrating 1 million streams with an announcement. So, because you know, when people see me got a million streams and stuff like that, um, they question it. Now, I just did this simple YouTube search and all these people are coming up with millions. So I'm not the only one. You feel me? And these are people that are not known. I don't know none of these people. I don't know none of these people music or anything like that. That's just that's that that's just for you haters. And to uh uh compilate that, right? To even so we got the let's let me see what's the difference between followers and monthly listeners data how many people try to play followers or people like your profile monthly listeners so how those update monthly listeners daily okay cool let's see monthly listeners on spotify be consistent there you go so that's answering all your questions now let's go to spotify spotify promotion Um, add. So, Spotify advertising. So, if you guys didn't know, yes, you can advertise on Spotify. You feel me? And to show you guys even more,
Dang. Spotify has a discovery mode where you can, your tracks will be eligible to go out and they just take a little percentage. Spotify actually has a program called Marquee. They actually have a program also called Showcase. So with all of this stuff, and as time goes by, you'll be eligible, not eligible, whatever. So basically what I do is I pay for ads and stuff and I promote on social media heavy. So between me paying for ads, promoting on social media heavy, that's how I'm able to get all these, you know, and Spotify discovery mode. That's how I'm able to 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 to, to do all of this and get it to playlists and stuff like that. All the all that combined, this is not just one thing. And now in 2024, you have to do everything. That's why y'all see me doing content more, et cetera, et cetera. You have to do everything, okay? To make all of this make sense and to reach your full potential, do everything. There's no one thing that you can do other than make a hit song and that's it, but you still got to post it on TikTok for people to see or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm able to accumulate all over a million streams, et cetera, et cetera. And look, and I'll help you guys. You can set up a one-on-one -on -one constellation call. You can go on my website, Let's Help You Grow Now. I got courses. I even have a Let's Help You Grow Now program. All the information is in my description. You feel me? So, yeah, like, I got a million streams. Now, let's get to the real, now let's get to how I was able to get those million streams transferred over to my deluxe because, I have a song with over a million streams. You feel me? And I put them songs back on a project. So basically what I did was I dropped the EP back in November. So you can see the EP. You'll see the EP. The EP, if it's still on here. Okay, here we go. It has six songs. It was an EP, clearly. It says EP 2023. Then what I turned around and did, now that was six songs. I dropped the deluxe which has 17 songs, but it has six songs that was on that EP as well. So all I did was just transfer, put a couple of new songs on there. But yeah, the majority of this project has new songs. So remember, only included six songs. So for me, transferring that, that's going to transfer to your new project. So what I did was throughout the year, I dropped singles. And I would promote that and then put it back in my project. And that's how you do it. That's one way. That's one of the ways. You feel me? Um, just make it deluxe. You feel me? Or the single, the songs that you drop, put it on a project and use the same codes, the same UPC, the same, well, the same ISRC code. All right. And I'm going to show you guys. I actually have an ISRC um booklet where you got all the links where you can actually go buy your own codes so you know the codes that they give you through the distributions like distro kid and all that yeah those are given to you which means you have to you're renting those those are not yours all right but you can buy yours they don't cost that much at all you feel me so if you go on my website you will see it as soon as you go on there uh I passed the music stuff, but yeah, you will see it if you go on my website, let's up you go now.com. Uh, I will have here it goes. It's called the ISRC handbook. This actually is supposed to be costed more. I got it for $20 right now. And this is just giving, giving, it gives you everything, bro. Everything that you need, get the information about the ISRC code. You're going to be able to buy your codes. I even got. It's a whole booklet, bro. I even give you information on it. All it's all types of stuff in there. It's it's not supposed to be $20. That's super cheap. This is supposed to at least be like 50, honestly. I'm gonna be real with you. So before I change these prices, y'all need to go ahead and get it. I ain't gonna lie. All right, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got any questions or anything, I already know what to do. So there you go.